Voices heard in our nation's capital. A rally along with counter protesters happening today in Washington, D.C. It comes just one year after the Unite the Right white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, that turned deadly. Now to your side, Jake Ryle joins us now with a look from several vantage points tonight. Well, you could see the changes one year after Charlottesville. There was added security, which led to peaceful demonstrations in D.C. But for the mother of Heather Heyer, the woman killed one year ago. Well, she's hopeful the change can lead to an end of racial injustice. A day of dueling demonstrations in Washington, D.C., the second Unite the Right rally. I'm not here to celebrate the tragedies that happened last year. What I'm here to do is tell the truth about what happened in Charlottesville. Counter protesters far outnumbering the white nationalist rally. The atmosphere different this time. One year ago in Charlottesville, a laxed police presence led to violence in the streets. This year, police essentially had the two demonstrations on lockdown, allowing the groups to peacefully protest, but never allowing them to clash. No arrests made in D.C., not the case, though, in Charlottesville, where police arrested four people for disorderly conduct. A lot of hurting and needy people still. The mother of Heather Heyer urging supporters. Not to think of Heather, but think of why she was here. She was here to support equality. Heyer was killed after a car drove through a crowd of demonstrators one year ago. Police believe that car was driven by James Fields. Fields and his family lived for a short time here in the tri-state. One year later, the message can be seen on shirts, love over fear, and on the ground. We are nothing when we walk alone. We're everything when we walk together. Higher hopeful her daughter's death will be a catalyst for change. The movement's been going on for years, years, years. This was just a, a moment on the, the screen and of the fight for racial justice in, in Charlottesville. All right, so let's talk about James Fields. He currently faces 30 charges on the federal level, one count of hate crime resulting in the death of hire. That is the only charge at the federal or state level that could carry with it the death penalty. Now at the state level, he does face 10 charges, including first degree murder, malicious wounding and aggravated malicious wounding. Fields is scheduled to go into trial in November in Charlottesville Circuit Court. Jake Ryle, nine on your side.